there. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, my name is Brianne. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I came here with the uh, notes. So. Uh-huh. I understand that you came in today to talk more about maybe some of your stuff. Yes, I'll stop smoking. No, see, that's great. You're not up front. <laughs> so, can you tell me a little bit uh, about your last visit? Um, it, on your notes, it says that you came in for bronchitis. Um, well, I'm okay from that. Now. Yeah. 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 Um, and I, it's not something I've had a lot in my life, so I felt pretty lucky about that. Well, good. I'm yeah. really glad that you're feeling better. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So, is there any other reason why you came in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I want to quit smoking. I've tried before and had a little bit of success, but um, I feel like... I can't do it alone. I felt I could do it alone before. Now I, I thought, well, if I really want to be serious about this, I need to have some, some help. So you really need support. Yeah. Here. So, um, and and some events in my life have kind of given me a little extra impetus. Yeah. Right. So, That's good motivation. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's just jump into how how confident you feel. That you can make this change because it sounds like you're really this is what I'm gonna do mm-hmm. and maybe you just need that extra help or support to do it so on a scale of zero to ten where zero it's not very confident mm-hmm. and ten is very confident where would you say you are right now I would say confidence wise yeah. not so good I would okay. say three four three four yeah three, four okay so what do you feel like, and I'm saying in terms of support, because that's really what it seems to be, mm-hmm. what would help you? Um, I, I've gone cold, lost, I stopped smoking going cold turkey three times. Okay. The third time, I had the help of um, the nicotine gum, the nicotine gum replacement, is that what they call it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and I, oh, it was the worst tasting thing I ever had in my mouth. Oh, my oh yes. yeah. The worst. Wow. Um, but I will say, yeah. it, it, um, it does work a little, you know. Um, and I quit taking it because I couldn't stomach it anymore. And also, I quit going back to smoking because I was extremely irritable as a result of the whole thing. Um, but I did last two weeks. And it's like, now I want to quit smoking even more than I did a few years ago. And I know I can't do it with cigarette gum, and I know I can't do it with cold turkey, so I want any help. To, by the way, we can't do it. <laughs> so it, it really sounds like yeah, the withdrawal mm-hmm. or the side effects are really mm-hmm. kind of yeah. right here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, if it's okay with you, there's a few other options, mm-hmm. and they might not work for you, but mm-hmm. maybe they will. Just try <laughs> right. um, there's some medication, uh, Zyban mm-hmm. and Chantix, mm-hmm. which seem to work better for some people mm-hmm. than the nicotine replacements. Mm-hmm. Um, Zyban, you can also do them in tandem, so you can also use the nicotine replacement. Oh, really? Okay. okay. So there's so many ways and mm-hmm. options mm-hmm. there. So um, we can get you information, more information mm-hmm. on that. Would mm-hmm. you like to pick a website or mm-hmm. maybe a brochure on it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, let's see. If you were able to today, what would be the first thing that you did to make this change? I, I'm doing the first thing. This is it. <laughs> All right, here. That's, that's a big thing for me because I was determined that to do it myself before. Right. Yeah, it's just um, I'm not knowledgeable enough, and I don't know what's safe, what's not safe, what would fit my lifestyle, you know, those kinds of things. And I don't want to just sit at the computer and read everything. Right. It's just bore me to tears. <laughs> um, so when you talk to somebody, I do better talking, you know, no, somebody. Totally so, yeah. So. I understand. Mm-hmm. So would you say maybe the medication you would give a try, or would you 
uh, maybe rather another a different kind of uh, nicotine replacement. You know, I'm not averse to taking the medication, okay. but if the, if we could find a nicotine replacement that didn't disgust me so much, okay. uh, I would like to try that first because it's, this one's still, even though I take nicotine <laughs> drugs, um, <laughs> it somehow doesn't feel the same as right. taking a drug that can give you. Um, I, somebody told me that Chantix gives you crazy dreams and things like that. Yeah. yeah, maybe not everybody, maybe not me, but you know, I'm, I'm like, let's try the other first. I know what the side effects can be there. <laughs> you know? So maybe uh, the patch? Have you ever tried the I have not. Um, I, uh, they sell a lot of them, so they must do some good. Yeah. Um, um, do you need a prescription for a patch? I know. Those oh, are all oh that's, you know, that surprises me all by itself, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. a big thing. You don't okay. have to come in to get mm -hmm. a prescription where you can just go in okay. and refill as you need. And success is high, is it? Uh, from what we've seen, and okay. obviously everything works different from some people. Some people really thrive and, and get where they want to go mm -hmm. in terms of quitting with the medication. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of people who have had success right. with them. With the patches and comes. Okay. With the patch, do you like? Like, I feel like I'm kind of like in a counseling session today. Do you mm -hmm. like need to have somebody to talk to while you're on the patch, or is that recommended? Is that the best way to go? I, I, think, I don't know any of this. Yeah, I think on the first try mm -hmm. that you do it since you haven't before, mm -hmm. I think it would be beneficial if you came in and maybe even to see me again, mm -hmm. and then you say, okay, this is week one. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go out and get your over-the-counter patch mm -hmm. and then you come back in a week or two and tell me how you're feeling mm -hmm. or are you getting those side effects. Mm -hmm. I think that might be beneficial okay. for you, but you definitely have the option to also go turkey and, and do it yeah. you know, and, mm -hmm. and on your own because that seems important to you. You, you have some responsibility here. Yeah, I want some responsibility, but I want a lifesaver. Totally understanding. Totally yeah. understanding that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, again, the scale, which would you say from what, zero to ten, what's your confidence level? Right? Oh, it's still, it's real. Boy. I, you know, it's like, okay, give me some success. Okay. And the confidence will go up. Because sitting here, I can tell you, oh yeah, I'm way more confident now. I haven't done a thing, I'm just chatting. Um, so that, I think that's why I need to do something, and then I'll feel that go up. Okay. Yeah. So, just to recap, it sounds like the patch is going to be your, your first step aside from this one. So, mm -hmm. step 1A. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you'll go out and grab one, mm -hmm. uh, and you'll try it, mm -hmm. and, and then maybe if you want to, can come back in mm -hmm. and we can regroup it. I would say I want to just because that'll make me feel better. Either way, like if it doesn't right. work out, we can talk about what's next. Or right. if it's working, we can talk about now what. Great. You know? Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. I think that would be very helpful mm -hmm. as you go forward and obviously help to build your confidence. Yes. Keep I agree. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. it sounds like you've got a plan. Um. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else uh, kind of you feel like is maybe holding you back? Well, you know, I, it's an addiction. It's right. um, it's a drug. Um, it's like I, if the if the nicotine patch reduces your cravings, mm -hmm. which is kind of what the nicotine kind of did. Um, but with the Nicorette, uh, and I again, I don't, I couldn't tell you how much is the Nick is the was the gum, was the um, me was my hormones, who knows? But I I was really really a very irritable person during that time, right. and um, that's what I want to watch out for on the patch. And if I if I become the way I became, which was a raging lunatic, um, <laughs> I think I'd want to switch right over to to, to the meds, you know, if that were the case. So I'm a little, you know, a little shaky about it. Okay. Yeah, but that's only a little because I really still do want to do what I try. And obviously, like I said before, sometimes it works for people, and sometimes it doesn't. So right. Don't feel hesitant or afraid to just step off of it and say, yeah. this isn't working. Yeah, I don't, I, mean, I don't know how much time you're supposed to give it or anything um, to find that out. But if a week yeah. isn't enough, too bad. <laughs> Understand I mean, really, that's how I feel. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm in a little bit of a hurry to have it be right, to have it work, you know. Um, 
so that I'll feel like I won. I can. I read her name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's it's it is. It's very important because it's hard to keep doing something mm -hmm. and and not getting that result. Yeah. That's that's helping you continue on. Yeah. Um, since you are still feeling a little bit um, not hesitant, but a little bit questioning of if it's going to work for you. Not you. Good idea. Look at this value. Not you. Good idea. Look at this values list and and pick three or four of them to for that purpose. Oh, that might you know sometimes it's helpful to think about your values or what might link to your your behavior change. Oh. And as you think about that, mm -hmm. sometimes that can add additional motivation oh. or inspiration to okay. continue on. Okay. I mean, you mentioned support, but maybe there's some other things. Well, there's, there's certainly there. things involving why I'm here. I'm like, it says good parent, but I'm okay. a good grandparent. My oh, yeah. grandson uh, about five weeks ago was diagnosed with uh, asthma. And my daughter basically has said to me, quit smoking if you want to continue to see your grandson because he can't be around secondary smoking. I don't want it to be on your clothes and, you know, all this other kind of stuff. And I said to her, well, just giving me one more motivation to do this. So that's, that's important. And uh, my husband is extremely supportive. I mean, he's never smoked a cigarette in his life, but he's always been, been supportive about me every time I've tried to quit. Um, and like, I, he's the most patient man on the face of the earth. <laughs> so you know you have support from him, but yeah. maybe he doesn't quite know all of what you're going through. Oh, he, he has no clue. clue. When you don't smoke, you don't know. You know, I mean, you, you know, smoking is uh, a drug that that is like a friend. You know, you yeah. smoke as many years as I've been smoking, it's your buddy. You know, you turn to it when you when you have stress and mm -hmm. when you're just sitting there peacefully and you want to have a little more peacefully. So, yeah. So I, but I think that you know those first two are big deals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as you go forward and and you're working through maybe the patch and mm -hmm. maybe it works for you mm -hmm. and you're continuing on and you get a, a rough patch. Sometimes thinking about your values and what you're attaching to, what change you're trying to make to help you continue on making that drive going. Uh, thank you. That's helpful. That is. I'm good. Okay, so what else here yeah, we do that for me? Take all you need. <laughs> Let me see. If there's um, something not on the list, feel free to add to it. Um, you know, it, it's funny. At work, when you're a smoker, you hang out with the people who smoke. And no matter what anybody says, in most environments, that's a much smaller group right. than the majority of people that you work with. Mm -hmm. And and it, it like keeps you from making friends, either on a professional right. level or a regular level, with people who are smoking where you work. Right. But then, if you quit, which is on my mind from time to time, yeah. then what do you do with the friends that you smoke with out there on the fire escape? <laughs> you know? Right. So, you know, that's, that's a little like a worry. Um, you know, I mean, I make friends pretty easily, but I don't want to unfriend people. I'm like, no, I'm going to cope with this. Right. So, um, is friendship on here? <laughs> we can put it on there. Okay. It's not a problem. But, you know, you understand what I'm saying? You know? Absolutely. Um, yeah. So when you, when you start thinking about the things that worry you about smoking, mm -hmm. it's usually your health. It's usually your like I think so. health. Mm -hmm. But this is like an issue, and it's not um, it's not easy, and it has nothing to do with right. Well, it has mental health. Well, it is. It's a yeah. it's a part of that circle. Yeah. When you want to quit. Mm -hmm. You have to change your environment. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. And the people you you know around yeah. all day. Yeah. It's definitely part of yeah. the environment. Oh yeah. Uh, at least I'm around them, you know, a couple of breaks a day and right. lunchtime a lot. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, maybe you could spend lunch with them and, and talk to them. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously it's whatever you feel comfortable with. Yeah. Maybe even saying, hey, I'm really trying to quit this time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay strong. You know, if I don't join you on the smoke breaks, that's mm -hmm. why. But, mm -hmm. you know, I'll see you at lunch. Or, yeah. or do, you know, involve them in an activity. Mm -hmm. The outside of work that you just been with, yeah, and yeah. it's not surrounded by smoke. Yeah. 